Hi, Dig family. Guess is back. So what have happened since last time you saw me is that uh, I got benched in Dig and also been taking time off basically on working on myself and trying to become more healthful or like like healthy in a way and also taking control of my life in general um, and also being really focused on myself so I've been basically not even active basically not even been showing myself on social media also not been streaming that much that I want to um, but just basically taking time off and doing what I needed to do for myself and something that was very needed in a way for myself because for those who have been following me through my whole career I always go against my health and uh, this was a very necessary step for me to do uh, towards doing the next step that I'm gonna do. Next step is kind of straightforward in a way I'm not gonna be competing professionally anymore I'm not saying that I'm gonna retire yet though uh, probably gonna happen but time would tell uh, but I'm not closing that door completely uh, but in a way I'm kind of used to not playing competitive anymore uh, since this has been three months four months now since after I got benched in Dig but the next step in general I'm gonna be a content creator slash streamer for the time being and also being doing a lot of more in real life stuff but also being attending a lot of more tournaments and being a face off when this whole pandemic going down I'm going to be, be playing a lot of Valorant, League of Legends, uh, Warzone from Call of Duty, CSGO of course that's going to happen, but other games that's coming up as well. I'm not going to be focusing super hard on one specific game, I'm going to be playing everything basically. And I hope that a lot of people want to follow my new journey and also my new goal basically in life to do the next step in my career. Since around four months ago I got the opportunity to be working closely with the um, the management that I do have forever, who has been taking charge of my streaming and my next step in my career. Um, they've been focusing heavily on doing my universe basically and build it up from the scratch and really taking consideration my history and also what I want to do next basically. Uh, what I mean is they've been starting to create something that I think people hasn't seen before, but also creating a universe that people are not used to see me in. Basically, the first thing that people are going to see is basically a, an underground bunker, basically, where that's my battle station. People who's going to be watching is going to get rewarded from it as well. Uh, so it's not going to be straightforward. You're seeing like, oh, this is it, you know, that's that, you know. It's going to be involved with a lot of more about the viewers and also being more about the fans and watching me and the people who are in the chat and, you know, being there and following my journey in general and just seeing us go, you know, they're going to be getting something from the stream itself which i don't think a lot of streamers actually give to their viewers that often but they try their best to do so but here you get you know the opportunity to see your basically your own name into the wall and be written down where if you're going to be supporting me it's going to be a appreciation from my side to show off to the viewer itself and uh, so for me it's going to be a completely new thing itself when it actually goes live for the first time which is today and already happened apparently <laughs> competitiveness all the traveling all the you know winning and becoming like a professional again all that kind of stuff that's not really me for the time being maybe it changed and come back again because i know end of the day i'm always gonna love competing and always gonna be like looking forward to the next win basically but i think this is gonna be a more challenging time and also one of the most important time in my life because now i'm taking care of myself and also taking care of who i am and actually present it to the whole world in a new way instead of just being the competitive get right basically this is gonna be more me and more me doing the things that I love to do, all my sides instead of just being, you know, protecting myself under a name, you know. Now I'm gonna show off the real person instead. Since ever I got the news of me being benched and me starting the whole plan of the next step and with the management which I really love to work with, 
Um, I think after maybe four days, four months ago, I wanted to start this already, click the live button basically and show off to everyone what I've been planning, you know. But things take time and things been having a lot of like thinking and planning and doing the right way what I, what I want to do and also making sure that I get my own will and also the next step itself is going to be acceptable by me because at the end of the day I want to do the thing for myself not for anyone else. They was very very supportive of what I wanted to do and really like supporting me in every way you know they were very happy on helping me out with my health really considering like being really curious like what's happening with Chris and really trying to be there as a human being itself. It wasn't just one specific person organization itself that wanted me to be, you know, the better person that I once was. They, they wanted me to come back and it could have gone to the way that I wasn't going to stay with Ding, but it made more sense more and more that I'm going to stay with him because of how much they wanted to help me and actually help me to the next step in my career. If he asked me four months ago if I was going to be staying in Dig, I would probably say no. And the more time went, it made more and more sense to stay in there. And I felt this is the perfect home for me to be in there for taking my new step. I want to take the time and really say I'm very, very thankful for everyone that's been following my path and also been very supportive me during my whole career. And I also want to be saying thank you all haters basically as well not haters i think that's a very strong word to use i don't want to use it but i think you understand what i mean because you've been triggering me more and more and really you know following the right path for myself and actually making myself even better than i was supposed to be i think the ones that really 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 need to get a big thank you from or like a thanks is basically everyone that's been next to me being a professional gamer means a lot away from home in a lot of ways, being under pressure and always delivering, all that kind of things. And a lot of sadness, happiness, all that kind of stuff is involved regarding them. But people being there on the road and making my job being the superstar of the game or showing myself off, they're not really getting, you know, the appreciation that they should get. So for everyone, hopefully it's not really that are a fan of the game or a player or whatever it is, like behind the scene persons. You should, you should just know that how grateful I am and very like happy that I got to meet you on the road. And for everyone who met me through the road and get to know me as well, I'm so thankful to you being like open and honest and you know, having a smile on your face, even angry sometimes. But at the end of the day, you know, we're in the same boat and you know, we're just making it better together instead of being separate and being oh, this is the player, we don't care about him. Or I'm only working with this person because I know who it is. I'm very, very thankful for everyone who's worked next to me and in the industry itself. Bye, be on the bed.